Hey there, Louis Akabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can sort items in a SharePoint online list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in this tutorial, I am going to show you a few different ways that you can sort items in a SharePoint online list. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to use the quick sort, which is a sorting function that is available right from the list. And then I'm going to show you how to sort through the create or edit view menu. Now, I'm also going to show you how to sort items when working in a SharePoint list in the modern experience, which you can see here on the screen, and when working in the classic experience, which resembles older versions of Microsoft SharePoint. Now, to get started, we're going to look at the quick sort. Now, the quick sort is available right from the SharePoint list. And to sort the SharePoint list by a specific column using quick sort, all you need to do is scroll to the drop down of the column that you want to sort by and click on it. And what you're going to see are options to sort by the specific data type that is in that column. Now this is context based. So because invoice number is a number type column, you're going to see that I can either sort or arrange the items uh, from smaller to larger in terms of their value or from larger to smaller. Now I'll just go ahead and click larger to smaller and you're going to see that my list has now updated. And again, it is now sorting this list uh, from the highest value in this column to the lowest value. Now, if I do the same thing on customer first name, because this is a text field, you're going to see that the quick sort is either sort alphabetically from A to Z or uh, reverse from Z to A. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click A to Z and you're going to see again that this list will update and it's going to sort accordingly. Now, the last type of sorting that I'll show you using the quick sort is sorting according to date. So again, if I click on the drop down in my invoice date column, again, because this is context based, you're going to see the options are either sort oldest to newest or newest to oldest. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sort from newest to oldest, and you're going to see here again that my list um, updates accordingly. So that's how to sort a SharePoint online list using the quick sort. Next, we're gonna look at how to sort by modifying the actual view. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to sort by modifying the view. And one of the big distinctions between using the quick sort and modifying the actual view itself is in the quick sort, as you'll notice, you can only sort by one column. Uh, if you want to actually sort by multiple columns, then you want to actually go ahead and modify the view to implement your multiple sort conditions. Now, to modify the view, what you want to do is you want to click on the drop down here that says switch view options. And from here, you want to click edit current view. Next, you want to scroll down to the sort group and you can see here that it reads select up to two columns to determine the order in which the items in this view are displayed. And what you'll notice here is that you have two options to select columns. So you can see first sort the column by and clicking into this dropdown is going to show you a full list of columns available on this SharePoint list. And then you can see the second option that says then sort by the column. Now what I'm going to do is I am first going to sort by invoice number. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that column. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and select sort items in descending order. Now, if I wanted to arrange these items or sort them in ascending order, I would go ahead and select that option. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to implement a second sort condition that is going to sort these by date. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my invoice date column. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to select show items in descending order. 
So again, this is where you can come to specify up to two sort conditions. Unfortunately, you cannot implement any additional sort conditions beyond just those two. And you want to select the column and then determine whether it's in ascending or descending order for your first column uh, and your second column if you wish to have those multiple conditions. Once you've done that, you wanna to scroll to the very bottom of this page and you want to go ahead and click OK. And so you can see here that my list has now been updated. You can see that it is sorting by invoice number in descending order from largest to smallest. And then you can see here that it's also sorting by the actual invoice date from the latest date to the earliest date. And again, if you wanted to modify your view to implement or change your sorting, you just want to click into the switch view options dropdown you want to click edit current view and you want to scroll down to your sort group and update the sorting um, in these two fields. Now, if I wanted to remove the sorting from this actual view, I just want to go back into my column selection and change it back to none. So I'm gonna do that for the second column and I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And you can see here that I have now removed the sorting from this specific view. So that was how to sort a SharePoint online list using the quick sort method and by implementing multiple sort conditions on an actual view in the SharePoint online modern experience. Now what I'm going to show you is how to use the quick sort and how to implement sorting when working with a SharePoint list in the SharePoint Classic experience. All right, so you can see here that I have switched from the modern SharePoint experience to the Classic experience, and you'll notice that, again, the list sort of appears as if it were in a previous version of SharePoint. That is what the Classic experience is. I'll start off by showing you how the quick sort works when you're operating in this Classic experience. Uh, and truthfully, it's the exact same. It just looks a little bit different. So in order to sort from the SharePoint list, what you want to do is you want to hover over the specific column that you want to sort by and you want to click on the little drop down menu and you're going to notice the same options that we saw when we were working in the modern experience. Now again, the quick sort is context based. So it is going to show you the logical sort options based on the actual data type of the column. And given that my invoice number is a number column, my options are either to sort with the smallest on top or with the largest on top, ascending and descending order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort largest on top and you're going to see here that it sorted from the highest value descending down to the lowest value. Next, if I click on customer first name, which is a text field, you're going to see I have the option again to sort this in alphabetical order, either from A uh, to Z or from Z to A. I'll just go ahead and click A to Z. And again, you're going to see here that the column is going to update with that sort. Um, and again, the last sort that I'll show you in the quick sort is sorting by date. And if I click on the drop down for my invoice date column, you can see here I can either sort this column in ascending order or descending order. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click descending order. And you're going to see here that the column has been sorted from the latest date to the earliest date. So that's how to use the quick sort when you're working in the classic SharePoint experience. It's exactly the same as when you're using the quick sort in the modern experience. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is how to actually implement multiple sort conditions by modifying your view when you're working in this SharePoint Classic experience. Now to do that, what you want to do is you want to click on the three dots here and you can see when I hover over this, it reads click to open or customize or create views. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and click modify this view. And you'll notice that this brings us into the actual edit view page. And you'll notice that this looks exactly the same as when we navigated here from the modern experience. So again, to implement sorting by modifying your view, and specifically if you even want to implement multiple sort conditions, you want to scroll down to the sort group and you want to 
select the column on which you want to sort by first. And again, if I wanted to sort by date, I would go ahead and select my invoice date column, and then I could choose to either sort in ascending order or descending order. Uh, and if I wanted to implement a second sort condition, again, I could just select the column that I want to sort by in the then sort by column, and I could go ahead and select whether I want to sort based on ascending order or descending order. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you multiple ways that you can sort a SharePoint online list. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.